Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. They exchanged Eid al-Fitr good wishes, wishing both countries and people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Bahrain Royal Guard team, which successfully reached the peak of Mount Everest, the highest mountain summit in the world. His Majesty the King congratulated Bahrain Everest team captain Major Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the historic exploit and for hoisting the kingdom's flag at the highest mountain summit in the world, lauding the courage of the team members and expressing the pride of all Bahrainis in their ability to attain a world achievement. His Majesty King Hamad stressed that Bahrain's message from the highest mountain is that peace and security should prevail all over the world. His Majesty the King congratulated the team on Eid al-Fitr, wishing them further success and expressing hope to meet them in Bahrain soon. Hello, 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 كيف ربعك؟ كله مزيان الله الحمد لله. الله يسلمك. على كل حال يعني كل بحريني وبحرينية يفخرون بإنجازكم. على كل حال رسالتنا أن يكون عيد مبارك إن شاء الله على الجميع علينا وعليك بار عمرك وإن شاء الله أن السلام يعم في العالم أجمع الله يسلمك وهذه رسالتنا من أعلى قمة في العالم قمة أفرست شكرا ما نبي نطول عليك سلم على جماعتك وربعك ونشوفكم قريب في البحرين إن شاء الله إن شاء الله إن شاء الله هلا 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 the expedition of the Royal Guard team included two phases. The first one, in which 18 members participated, lasted 86 days and ended in scaling the 6,150-tall Lubach Peak and the 8,163-tall Mount Manaslo. During the second and current phase, comprising of 12 participants, the team managed to reach the 8,848-tall Mount Everest. The mountaineering team carried out humanitarian and charitable work, while in Nepal, including the distribution of uh, foodstuff to the local people, which has been widely appreciated by the local communities and officials. The Nepalese government received members of the Bahraini team and expressed their appreciation for its humanitarian work. It also named a mountain summit in Manaslo as Royal Bahrain Peak. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was congratulated by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the kingdom's achievement whereby a team of the Royal Guard successfully scaled the highest mountain summit in the world. In a tweet, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on Bahrain's achievement. He also congratulated the Royal Guard, praising their extraordinary efforts. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of Bahrain Royal Guard team in reaching the summit of Mount Everest. His Royal Highness noted that the Royal Guard team's success will continue to serve as a motivation to further Team Bahrain's growing success. He commended the support extended by the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also extended his congratulations to the Bahrain Everest team.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan at Al Shatti Paris Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of historic relations between Bahrain and the UAE, noting that this deep bond continues to receive the full support of both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness extended the greetings of His Majesty the King to the President and uh, Crown Prince of the UAE, wishing the UAE further progress and development. His Royal Highness noted the strength of bilateral cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the UAE, which continues to be underpinned by a supportive, mutually beneficial partnership. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the UAE, emphasizing the importance of further strengthening relations, regional and international developments, as well as bilateral efforts to face common challenges were discussed. His Royal Highness and His Highness then exchanged Ramadan and Eid well wishes. Later, His Royal Highness attended an iftar banquet hosted by His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in honor of His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation's visit. Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Tahnoun Al Nahyan, Chairman of Abu Dhabi airports a number of senior government officials from the UAE, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to the UAE, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin Ali Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed the United Arab Emirates having met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness was bid farewell by His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi as well as the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the, Uni of the UAE his Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan and a number of senior UAE officials. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of the members of the Royal Guard in scaling the Everest summit. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the achievement of the Royal Guard members is a result of His Majesty's unwavering support and close follow-up on the details of the Bahraini hero's journey to climb the summit of the highest mountain in the world. His Highness congratulated the Royal Guard members on their achievement, which represents a qualitative leap in the record of excellence of the Royal Guard and its brave men. He commended their efforts during their mission in climbing the mountain, challenging all circumstances and raising the Bahraini flag on top of the highest mountain. The Royal Guard members expressed their pride in His Majesty the King's follow-up to their journey in reaching the summit of Everest, stressing that the follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the team prior to their departure had motivated them to reach the summit of Everest. His Majesty is the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that Paris FC's competition for the promotion position of the league reflects the keenness of its technical and administrative staff to maintain an ideal environment for success. His Highness praised the club's performance against Ajaccio, which reflected the team's fighting spirit and expressed happiness in seeing the Kingdom of Bahrain's name on the team's jersey. His Highness wished the team well as it prepared for the important game against Chambly as it offers a chance for the club to get promoted. The Moon Sighting Panel convened this evening at the SCIA headquarters to receive news and testimonies confirming the birth of the Shawwal Crescent. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, announced that the first day of Eid al-Fitr will be Thursday.
The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, the SEA, Dr. Abdel Hussein bin Ali Mirza, and managing director and CEO of Dubai Electricity and Water Authority, DEWA, Saeed Mohammed Al Tayr, signed a cooperation agreement between SEA and UAE's Union Energy Company. The agreement came to enhance cooperation in the field of renewable energy and energy efficiency and its applications. It aims to support the implementation of sustainable energy initiatives to achieve common goals by exploring and studying energy related sectors Bahrain and Bahrain. The cooperation includes coordination energy performance projects and contracts, solar energy projects connected to and separated from the grid facilities, management services and electromechanical work, smart automation and network operations, capacity building programs and training courses. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered a written letter to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, pertaining to the deep rooted bilateral brotherly relations and cooperation. The Minister was received at Bayan Palace by the Kuwaiti Prime Minister in the presence of the Minister of Finance and Minister of State for Economic Affairs and Investment, Khalifa, Khalifa Moussaid Hamad. During the meeting, the Minister Salman bin Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Jabr Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and the Prime Minister of Kuwait. The Prime Minister Al Sabah asked the Minister of Finance to convey the greetings of the Emir and Crown Prince of Kuwait to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, participated virtually in the meeting of the Council of the Arab Leagues in its extraordinary session at the ministerial level. With the participation of senior officials and heads of delegations of the participating countries and the Secretary General of the Arab League. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in which he noted that the world followed with concern the recent developments in Jerusalem as a result of the Israeli settlers' aim to evacuate uh, Jerusalemites from their homes in Al Sheikh Jarrah and the Israeli forces' attacks on worshippers in Al Aqsa Mosque during the month of Ramadan, which comes in contradiction with the resolutions of international legitimacy and international law and is consistent with the values of tolerance or inconsistent with the values of tolerance, coexistence, and peace. He further called on the Israeli government to respect international law and fulfill its international obligations, affirming that Bahrain has expressed a strong condemnation of the Israeli forces assault on worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque, where settlers sought to confiscate the property of the, Jeru the Jerusalem sites in Al-Sheikh Jarrah and demanded an end to these attacks against the people of Jerusalem. The minister also expressed Bahrain's solidarity with the brotherly Palestinian people, affirming the kingdom's unequivocal position that a just and lasting peace in the region will not be achieved unless the Palestinian people obtain their full legitimate rights to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with international legitimacy, the two-state solution and the Arab Peace Initiative. He pointed out the kingdom calls on the international community to shoulder its humanitarian and moral responsibilities in protecting the brotherly Palestinian people from all Israeli violations. It also calls for an end to the escalation and violence and the harnessing of international efforts to achieve peace and stability in the region. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to allocate 5,000 housing units to beneficiaries, the Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, announced that the ministry continues to allocate units from Al Buhair project to citizens. He stated that Al Buhair housing project is one of the ministry's leading projects in the southern government and that it helps expedite the allocation process in the kingdom. Al Hamar affirmed that the support of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Prime Minister has accelerated the distribution process following the advanced completion rates of various projects. He said that Al Buhair project has reached a 99% completion rate and that aside from its excellent location includes several services and facilities. The minister added that the project will provide many applicants on waiting lists from the southern governors with housing units. As for the government's plan to allocate 5,000 units to citizens, Al Hamar noted that the ministry holds meetings on daily basis with those 
those concerned from the project's directors to expedite the allocation process. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Board Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, paid an inspection visit to the venue of the new Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, BIECC, project in Sakhir. He was updated on the latest developments in implementing the project and directed to remove all obstacles to ensure its completion as scheduled by the end of the second quarter of 2022. He praised the efforts of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning for its supervisory role supporting the implementation of the strategic project. The minister affirmed that the project is the biggest one carried out by BTEA and will provide an exemplary venue to host international events. He added that the center will further attract the organizing companies companies of exhibitions and conferences to hold their international events. He noted that this will further promote the tourism sector in the kingdom so as to diversify revenues and achieve the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia's launch of an explosive laden drone towers at Abha International Airport in Saudi Arabia in a cowardly terrorist act targeting safe civilians in violation of all international humanitarian laws and international norms. The Foreign Affairs Ministry affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia backing all the measures it takes to confront these criminal terrorist acts aimed at destabilizing its security and stability and threatening the lives of its citizens and residents. It also commended the vigilance and efficiency of the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen that were able to intercept the drone and destroy it. The Kingdom today approved for emergency use the new single-dose Sputnik light vaccine produced by the Gamalia National Center for Epidemiological and Microbiological Research at the Ministry of Health of the Russian Federation. The decision to approve the new Sputnik vaccine and allow its use was based on the thorough analysis data provided by the manufacturing company. The National Health Regulatory Authority, Nahara, undertook a review and evaluation process of the data on the vaccine, including the evaluation of efficacy data data, safety throughout the clinical trials and vaccine manufacturing quality and product stability. The NHRA also took the opinion of the Clinical Research Committee, academics and physicians responsible for approving clinical trials. The new Sputnik light vaccine uses the first dose of the previously approved Sputnik 5 vaccine with a high efficacy level and proven, proven effectiveness against all new strains of COVID-19 evident during laboratory testing at the Gamalia National Center. The Nahra confirmed that based on the approval issued today, the Ministry of Health will commence import procedures by permitting the emergency use of Sputnik Light. Bahrain has approved a sixth vaccine for emergency use following Sinopharm, Pfizer BioNTech, AstraZeneca, Johnson, and Sputnik 5. The Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to protecting the health and safety of all citizens and residents. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 806,143 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 588,730 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 13,990 with 1,005 recoveries, 1,662 registered new cases and six deaths. 609 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,023 are contacts of active cases and 30 are travel related. The deceased were four expatriates and uh, two citizens. The, the ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.